Harvest spring, like everything is new. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may not know this about me, but I am a huge Potterhead, by which I mean I am a huge fan of all the Harry Potter books and movies. Absolutely have loved them ever since I was a kid. I can't even remember a time in my life where Harry Potter wasn't a part of it. So I recently just rewatched all the movies and I'm in a super Harry Potter vibe and I thought I would introduce Harry Potter to my channel by doing a Harry Potter Would You Rather video. So um, I've got my questions here on my phone and I would love if you guys could answer the questions as well, pop them in the comments below, I'd love to know your answers as well. So I'm going to be answering 20 questions, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So, question one. Would you rather have JK Rowling write one more Harry Potter book, but Harry dies, or that she never ever wrote anything set in the magical world again? Um, I'd have to say I would rather her not write anything again, I think. I'm honestly very happy with how the series ended and I don't think Cursed Child should have ever been made and I know she was a big part of writing that so I kind of think that it's sort of expired at the end of the series. I'd rather see more prequels rather than like stuff that happens after the end of the Harry Potter movies. But yeah, I honestly, <laughs> to be honest, I think there's plenty of people who could continue to write things set in the magical world. I feel like it's not just restricted to JK. I feel like she created an amazing world, but there's a lot of people who have written some amazing fan fiction and have some amazing ideas for the future of Harry Potter. So I don't want Harry to die. I love Harry and I just, no, just no, not, not gonna happen. Number two, would you rather learn to apparate or become an animagus? This is so hard because I love animals, so I would love to be an animagus. <sighs> but I would also love to apparate. That would just be so handy. Oh my god, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say I'd rather be an animagus. As long as I can pick what I'm gonna be. I don't know what I would be yet, but, but definitely an animagus, I think. But apparating would be cool too. Question three. Would you rather Dolores Umbridge was your mum or that Bellatrix Lestrange was your mum? <laughs> Uh, uh, Bellatrix. <laughs> Can't stand Umbridge. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, at least you'd have a bit of fun having Bellatrix as your mum. So, you'd probably learn some interesting things, I'd say. Number four, would you rather adopt Hedwig or Crookshanks? That is so hard because I love Hedwig so much, but I'm a cat person in real life, so I... Uh, to be honest, if I'm being realistic, I would have to say Crookshanks because if I was going to the to the Harry Potter world, if I was going to Hogwarts and I had to pick a animal to take with me, and I would take a cat. So I want to go Crookshanks. I love Crookshanks. He's pretty cute. So okay, number five. Would you rather snog Voldemort in secret every day, or have everyone think Rita Skeeter was your best friend? I think I'd probably have to say. I would rather have everyone think that Rita Skeeter is my best friend. Like, she's not my best friend, but who really cares what anyone thinks? I mean, you probably would have a hard time making friends, but yeah, I would rather that than have to kiss Snake Face every day, so. Unless it's Voldemort before he was Voldemort, like Tom Riddle, I'd kiss him every day, but like, just, yeah, no, I'll have to go option two, I think. Question. Six. Would you rather be friends with Ron or Hermione? Hermione. I'd rather have Hermione as my best friend. I feel like she and I would get on really, really well. I feel like we're really similar. I think we'd spend way too much time in the library. So. But anyways, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like Hermione is always such a good friend to both Ron and Harry throughout the whole series. Ron can be a little bit stubborn and he gets a bit jealous and stuff sometimes. As much as I love Ron, I think I'd rather date Ron. I'd rather Hermione be my best friend and then maybe I can date Ron. Uh, question seven. Would you rather Harry and Ginny never got together or that Ron and Hermione never got together? Harry and Ginny. I feel like Harry... Harry and Ginny were such a good couple in the books, but in the movies it was a bit of a letdown. I feel like... Like, I actually love Bonnie Wright as well. Like, I think she was a great Ginny. It's just that I feel like they didn't include enough of Harry and Ginny's relationship and they didn't include enough of, like, Ginny's personality. 
So, I, but then again, I also feel like Harry would have been good with many other people as well, like not just her, whereas I feel like Ron and Hermione, like they're, they're meant to be together, you know, like the whole series, you just know that they're meant to be together. Whereas like Harry, I could have seen Harry like with Luna or even like unpopular opinion, but I probably could have seen Harry with Hermione, could have seen Harry with Cho, maybe. Like I feel like I could have seen him with other people, if that makes sense, whereas like I couldn't really have seen Ron with anyone but Hermione, so. Question number eight. Would you rather go on a date with Cormac McLaggen or Lavender Brown? I'm gonna say Lavender Brown because I love Jessie Cave. She's so cool. And Cormac is disgusting. So, I mean, like, it wouldn't be like a lovey date because I don't swing that way. But I mean, I would way rather hang out with Lavender Brown than Cormac, so. Also, if you've never listened to Jessie Cave, who is the girl who plays Lavender Brown in Half-Blood Prince and Beyond, her and her sister Bevy do a podcast called We Can't Talk About That, and it's on like Apple Podcasts, it's on Spotify. It is so funny, and it's just like, it's just really, really good to listen to, and you'll have so much respect for her <laughs> if you listen to it. So, so yeah, definitely give that a listen, but I'm gonna go Lavender Brown. Question number nine, would you rather be a muggle or a squib? I think like being a squib would suck. God, I don't know. Probably a squib, because at least then I could be a part of the magical world. Like I could, you know, like maybe I could just become a magizoologist and work with the animals. You know what I mean? Like that could be something a squib could probably do. I'm gonna go squib because that is better than, than not being a part of the wizarding world at all, so. Question number 10. Would you rather Sirius survived or that Dumbledore survived? Definitely Sirius. Um, Sirius was like a really hard loss for me because it just made me feel really sad because it was Harry's like only family and only real connection to his parents and it was just pretty sad that he didn't get to develop that relationship with his godfather more. Um, and Dumbledore's had a pretty long life. Rubbish. Well, he's only... How old is he? 150? Give or take a few years. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna say serious. Question 11. Which Tri-Wizard Tournament challenge would you rather attempt? Stealing a dragon egg or saving a loved one from the Mer people? Definitely saving a loved one from the Mer people. That's my favorite Tri Wizard challenge. It's just so cool. I feel like the Black Lake's like always there throughout the whole series and you never really know what's in it. And, and then you get to finally like sort of see that in the fourth book and movie. Yeah, I don't know. I loved that one and I would love to do that. I think that would definitely be the challenge I would pick. Um, okay, number 12. Would you rather be magical but have to be a Death Eater? Or just be a plain old muggle and never know magic at all? <sighs> Again, this is like the squib question. I would do anything to be a part of the magical world, so I'd probably be a Death Eater. But maybe I could be a Death Eater that turns good eventually. We're gonna say that's a possibility. But you'd have to be a Death Eater for a certain amount of time, I guess, so... Yeah, I mean, I'd be a Death Eater, but I'd probably be one of the ones at the back who's kind of like, mm, I'm doing anything. But yeah, okay, I'm have to, uh, I guess I'll just have to say Death Eater. Question 13, would you rather be friends with Crumb or Fleur? Fleur, definitely Fleur, yeah. She's a cool chick. I feel like <laughs> she cops so much flack in the books from um, Hermione and Ginny. What do they call her, like Flem or something? Oh, so mean, I always felt so bad for her. But I feel like she's like a, just a good person, you know, and she's just raised in a different way to obviously like Hermione and Ginny, so they're not really used to her being like that. And I think they're just very jealous of her as well. But I think she's very elegant. I think I could learn a lot from her and um, borrow her clothes as well. Can't really borrow cl Crumb's clothes, so. Question 14. Which beloved character would you rather save in the Battle of Hogwarts? Fred Weasley or Remus Lupin? Oh, see, this is so hard because Remus is a dad and him and Tonks both die. And that is the saddest thing ever because their son Teddy is going to grow up with no parents. So it's kind of like makes sense to say that. But then Fred Weasley was so young and he never even got to live his life or live his potential and George living without Fred. I just can't even imagine it. Like, I really can't. 
and every time I have to watch Fred die in the movies <laughs> or read it, I cry my eyes out. So I'm gonna have to say Fred because Fred, I love Fred. So sad. Like the thought of him and George being separated just breaks my heart. Question 15. Would you rather have an invisibility cloak or have a lifelong supply of Felix Felicis? Felix Felicis, for sure. Imagine how helpful that would be. Like you're going for a job interview and you just take a swig of that and you, you'd be right. Like you wouldn't even have to worry about it. You wouldn't have to prepare. Like it would just work out in your favor. I don't really have the need for an invisibility cloak. So question 16. Would you rather get a Hogwarts letter, but have flobber worms for fingers forever, or never get your letter at all? Um, okay, well, I'm gonna have to say I'd rather get my Hogwarts letter, because like I said before, I'd do anything to be in the magical world. I wonder if I could work on creating something to fix the hand situation if I became a wizard. But then maybe that's not allowed. Maybe that's what forever means. Oh, I'm still going to have flop of worms for fingers. We'll do that. Question 17. Would you rather have Harry's courage or Hermione's brains? Hermione's brains, for sure. Anyone can have courage. No one can be as smart as Hermione. Well, I mean, I'm sure someone could, but yeah, I feel like that would be a lot more helpful in more situations, knowing more things. So, question 18. Would you rather have to cast Crucio on Fred Weasley for five hours straight or have to watch Dobby die once a day for the rest of time? Oh, maybe cast Crucio on Fred because it's only for like the one day, whereas like watching Dobby die every single day would be horrendous. I actually cried when Dobby died in the movie when I was watching it the other day. Like again, I've seen it so many times, I know what happens. <laughs> I still cry, it makes me so sad. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd have to pick the Crucio. That would be horrible. And I would hope that it wouldn't completely mess up Fred. But yeah, I mean, five hours of that compared to watching Dobby die every day for the rest of time. I don't think so. Question 19, would you rather have an invisibility cloak or a time turner? Time turner. Is that even a question? Like. Like I said before, I don't have a need for an invisibility cloak. Like, all I'd use it for is to scare the crap out of people. So, we're gonna go time turner because that would be really helpful. Okay, last question. Question 20. Would you rather spend an hour talking to JK Rowling or an hour talking to Daniel Radcliffe? Daniel Radcliffe. He's such a cool dude. Like, when I say cool, I mean like he's nerdy, but I'm nerdy. And like, I just think He's, he's really interesting. He's not like every other celebrity. Like when he talks, he's he's very quirky. I actually read a um, biography written about him. I can't remember who wrote it. Sue someone? I think I have it up here actually. Yeah, I actually read this book here. Sue Blackhall. Daniel Radcliffe, the biography. Really good book. Really like kind of gives you an insight into his life. I'd love for him to write an autobiography. I'd love to read like his version of everything, but this is a really good book too. But yeah, I'd definitely rather talk to Daniel. I feel like we would hit it off really well. I feel like we'd talk about crazy things for like an hour. So Daniel Radcliffe, if you uh, want to sit down, talk to some random girl on the other side of the world for an hour. Anyways, that is enough of me being ridiculous for today. Sorry. Ridiculous. 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 This class is ridiculous. Very good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more Harry Potter content, please uh, let me know below and make sure you pop your answers in the comments below. I really can't wait to read them and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye Potterheads. Call it spring, like everything Sunburst flowers calling on all